Reading blogs and watching videos on porosity can make you feel like high porosity is always self-inflicted and that it's something that needs to be reversed. That's not always the case. Many people have naturally higher porosity hair, meaning the new growth that comes out of their scalp has thinner and more fragile cuticle layers. So people with naturally high porosity hair tend to also have finer hair strands. If you find your balance, high porosity hair types can retain a lot of length with some serious hang time without ever having to use heat. Porosity does not determine your hair's potential and porosity is not the be all end all. Check out these YouTube channels. These ladies have healthy, thriving, naturally high porosity hair and they talk about it from their perspective. And as you saw in the last video, High porosity can also be self-inflicted through heat damage, greenhouse overload, overmanipulation and neglect, and chemical damage. While these two scenarios are both high porosity, they don't always look the same. Hair strands that are naturally higher in porosity does not always have to have damaged, torn, or have exaggerated lifts. The cuticles could just be slightly lifted or relaxed or the cuticles could just be thinner than average. A self-inflicted increase in porosity is where you'll see more severe tears, lifts, and missing cuticles. It doesn't matter if you have naturally high porosity hair or if you caused your hair to become more porous. High porosity is permanent. But there are minor tweaks you can make to your hair regimen to find your balance and keep your hair thriving. Apart from keeping your scalp clean, your hair moisturized and lubricated, and your ends happy, there are a few things high porosity hair types should pay extra attention to. Here are some tips. Protein treatments are especially beneficial to high porosity hair types. They create a thin film over your hair strands that acts as a temporary protective coat and gives your cuticles a little break for a while. Protein molecules come in different shapes and sizes. Some create a thick coat around your hair and barely penetrate, and others create a thinner, more breathable coat around your hair and absorb deeper into your hair strands. High porosity hair can handle using most store-bought protein treatments with larger protein molecules. But it's best to use a protein treatment with smaller protein molecules, like the real protein treatment, because it's small enough to penetrate and bind with deeper parts of your hair strands and create a more breathable and flexible coat. This way your hair strands are strong and breakage resistant, but still flexible and soft. If your hair is high in porosity, try adding protein treatments to your regimen. Keeping high porosity hair strands properly coated and protected is very beneficial. So if you feel like your hair regimen is missing something, try adding a product with a mucilage texture. They stick onto and coat your hair strands really well and don't have to be reapplied as much. Experiment with ingredients like slippery elm, marshmallow root, chai seeds, or flax seeds, just to name a few. Or look for them in the ingredients list in products. All textured hair hates being dry but high porosity hair is especially prone and sensitive to dryness. It breaks a lot more than low porosity hair types when it's dry and dries out a lot faster as well. So it's important to take extra efforts to always keep this hair type from drying out to a certain point. This looks different for everyone. The goal is to stay ahead of the dryness. For some people, it means re-moisturizing every night or every other night or every week. I can't talk about high porosity hair without talking about gentle handling. When you hear anything about tension, it's usually referring to your scalp. We don't hear much about tension to your hair strands. The cuticle layer on high porosity hair strands are already fragile, so it's easy to damage them. Avoid pulling on your hair strands or forcing it into tight braids or twists. Practice installing your braids and twists looser. At least loose enough where your braid isn't stiff and still has some wiggle room. And switch these tight hair ties to these satin hair ties. 
or stockings to a puff cuff. These small changes to your hair regimen can make a huge difference down the road to the health and look of your hair. As a recap, four things worth adding to your hair regimen if your hair is high in porosity are real protein treatments, products with mucilage, anti-dryness regimen, and extra TLC. There's a lot of confusion out there when it comes to the topic of porosity. So I recently posted a porosity series in hopes to make it less confusing and to try to answer all your questions in one place. I talked about the pros and cons and how to identify if your hair is high, low, or medium porosity and what their differences are. This series is packed with information, so make sure to check them out. You can find them in the complete hair type playlist on my YouTube page. Give away, give away, give away, give away. So that's it for the complete hair type series. I hope these videos helped you figure out where you fit on every one of these lines. Because for me, learning this was a game changer. So here's the giveaway question. What method do I use to keep my hair stretched and get full sebum coverage? You can find the answer to this question in one of these videos. In order to qualify, you must be subscribed to the Green Beauty YouTube channel and follow at Green Beauty on Instagram and of course have the correct answer. After leaving your answer below, Leave your YouTube name and the answer to the giveaway question as a comment on this Instagram post that's up right now on my Instagram page. So answer the giveaway question here on YouTube, then leave your YouTube name and the giveaway answer in this Instagram post. It's that easy. The winner will be announced on the Green Beauty Instagram page one week from now on Sunday, April 28th and will get one four ounce real protein treatment, one four ounce herbal hot oil treatment, one pure tea tree essential oil, and one eight ounce pH stabilizing spritz. Oh, and a pack of the pH test strips so you can test the pH of all your water-based products. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.